Good evening everybody, Simon here, Explosive Action, and this is the Man Cave. Okay everybody, this is the uh, new cave in my new house. As you can see, it's obviously a garage, and uh, I'm happy with that. It's uh, quite a lot of room. It's uh, more room than I had in the last place. And uh, I have less poster space because the roof is less high. Less high, it is not as high. But uh, I've got plenty of wall space and there's a few little nooks and crannies that I've discovered. So uh, let's just take a walk through. So we've got the old Arnie wooden plaque here, Total Recall. I got that from a Salvos when I was about 16 and I've had it ever since. It's awesome. It's there on the floor to block the cables from the back of the computer. This is the uh, big change, is that I now have my study area within the man cave, and that suits me fine. So, this cupboard here, with uh, the Enter the Ninja poster, is the VHS cupboard. So, that's triple stacked of videos. And in these drawers, which are very hard to get out one-handed, are all the Japanese tapes. Just believe me, they're in there. Oh, it's incredibly heavy. Two drawers of Japanese tapes. And the Australian tapes. Triple stacked up the front here. I was quite surprised at uh, how perfect that all fit. Not many spaces left, as you can see. Moving on. So over here, this is pretty much uh, the overflow of box sets, um, some TV series and things, Adam's Family. Got my Wang Wang poster there, it's a reproduction from the Cairns a submission in 1980 on the dot I think. My Wormwood sticker. Everybody needs to see Wormwood. It uh, came out on Friday officially, uh, in Australia anyway. Elsewhere, not too sure, but I'll show you a poster in a second. Got my Friday 13th uh, 3D movie, movie poster plaque. I've still kept it in its box. Uh, my Deep Red DVD signed by uh, Claudio Simonetti and uh, uh, Maurizio as well. Uh, Dear God No signed DVD. My uh, very large Alien. Uh, well, it's actually from Aliens. You can probably pick that scene. Very cool. This is the most impressive thing about this house is that uh, it had these tall cabinets which are a bit of a pain to slide now Ugh, especially one hand but anyway they slide back and forward we painted them so they're a bit sticky um, this was built in 1981 but look at that perfectly fits DVDs it's like they knew I was coming so it's amazing uh, there's my rotor poster the first of the rotor posters there's two in here I've actually got room now to have an audio set up, so here is an, uh, an old Marantz amp, Pioneer equalizer, and a Pioneer 3 disc CD player and CD recorder. It's actually one of those ones where you put in a uh, master grade CDR and it will do an audio dupe of a CD. It's pretty cool. Uh, hooked up to my Tenoy speakers, which are very funky, for my CDs. I don't usually show that kind of thing, CDs, but... Um, if you haven't worked out by now, I pretty much listen to uh, just metal. That's that's me. Not much else. Prog rock, bit of dark ambient, but 98% of that is death, black, and thrash metal. Uh, there's the comedy Blu-rays. Sort of over here because that's where there was some space. All these cardboard boxes are the CD overflow because I've filled up these things. In here, Super Nintendo cartridges. Not many. Just getting back into that. Uh, magazines from uh, vintage computer magazines, laser discs, they're all down here. I'm trying just to keep laser discs of movies that aren't on DVD, so I've been doing huge cull and trade of that. So these DVDs and Blu-rays in here are pretty much um, labels, like specific labels that have an order, so you know, Shameless, Arrow, Code Red, Numerical Order, Scorpion, some Shriek shows, some uh, Mondo Macabro, Blue Underground, Blu-rays of all of the above, Synapse, uh, Seberin. 
here is the awesome Wormwood poster, Wormwood Road of the Dead. So this is a new Australian uh, horror comedy. More on the horror and less on the comedy. It is very, very funny, but um, it's, uh, it's less of a comedy than, uh, say, Undead was. Definitely recommend it. Get rid of that reflection. Headshot. Got some figurines here. Sean, Flyboy, Plaid Clothes, Zombie. Got um, my Baba Hotep figures there. Ash, Army of Darkness. Okay, this is the horror shelf. Exclusively horror. Box sets, Blind Dead. When I say exclusively horror, uh, some of the you know, labels I keep together may not be precisely horror, like, you know, some of these cinema cult ones there, but I'm not splitting them up. They all look good together. But otherwise, yeah, it's all horror. My alien plush. Machete figure. More box sets. My three Frankenstein army figures. Great film. The uh, Roger Corman Shout Factory releases. Wish they kept making those. Uh, Umbrella on DVD. Uh, Scream and Shout Factory Blu-rays. Cinema Cult DVD and Blu-rays. Camera Obscura, a few uh, documentaries there. Uh, Umbrella Blue, Monster Pictures Blue, and DVD. Accent, a label that I'm really, really enjoying lately, a local Australian label that does mainly horror and cult films. Asylum, different to uh, obviously Asylum Pictures behind uh, Sharknado, different Asylum entirely. Uh, Insomnia, Got some uh, Intervision. I left some space there for the two new um, Bruno Matai zombie films on their way. Other. Now that's an interesting label that I don't see much of, but that's the name is Other. We've got some uh, Camp Motion pictures, a few um, Slipcase and Slimline editions over there, some 88 films, versions of uh, Full Moon and their other range, Slashes, uh, Vintage Anchor Bay. Got some uh, slasher video there, some Australian release of uh, Trauma. Uh, the, uh, what are these called, After Dark sets? I don't have all of them, just a couple. Uh, Magna Pacific DVDs. Old label. They're still going, I think, but they've changed the logo entirely. Uh, 21st Century and more Asylum Insomnia. All the uh, Pop by Vendetta monster films. Lots of Asylum pictures in there. A to Z Horror Blu-ray and A to Z Horror DVD. So that's all that. Here is the new TV setup. I just watched Sniper Legacy, Sniper 5. Very good, very enjoyable. Um, got some figurines and skulls there. Got my Jason. My giant pinhead. Ash. These little anime figures, I'm not huge into anime, but um, there was a series in 1992 called Yu Yu Hakusho, which I thought was good fun and it went for a very long time, and I have the figures of that. This TV came with my new house. The little, little old lady that lived here was going to a retirement home, and uh, they left us uh, a bunch of stuff, a uh, fridge which we needed, because the house didn't fit, but this 42 inch uh, full HD plasma was a welcome gift um, and this little corner wooden stand which I was happy to get as well because it fits in nicely here my Sony VCR that's the top of the line Sony VCR ever made in this country anyway uh, DVD Blu-ray uh, TV streamer PS2 uh, I got my Super Nintendo in there and my Pioneer Laserdisc and a backup Panasonic VCR in there got the uh, video dead a little fluffy pillow and a zombie plush that falls apart when you try and remove its limbs, which is very cool. The awesome, awesome video carousel, which was given to me by my local video store uh, in my last suburb. It's still fairly local to me. Um, the nice old guy had been running the store for 40 years and got rid of the last of his tapes, gave me a carousel. So this is where I put the stuff that I like the most, has the best art, Deadly Prey. I will be buried with this tape. Awesome stuff. 
This here, another thing I don't talk about too much, it's the uh, Doctor Who shelf. Big fan of the old and the new series. Was a fan of the old series when I was a kid, and I was very happy when the series came back. So that's all Doctor Who stuff. In here is any uh, book uh, related to film. So yeah, Nightmare USA in the corner there, World Gone Wild, and uh, there's some uh, other ones in behind there. There's the Bleeding Skull book, uh, the Eden Live Zombie book, good stuff. Doctor Who VHS complete run. So up here, the light's a bit funny here because it's a fluoro in the roof. Um, so sort of old horror basically. I wouldn't say classic, but you know, 50s schlocky horror, that kind of stuff, 50s and 60s schlock. There's some good stuff in there too. Um, this is the, uh, what section is the Ray Harryhausen, um, his section of uh, films that he did um, stop motion work on and a Blu-ray set, Roger Corman Monster Films, uh, this is the Monsterama DVDs, all cheap monster films. Uh, what's this? The Man Eater series. That's all of the uh, triple packs they've released so far. A to Z of what I've pulled out as being creature features. So giant shark films. You've got your Lake Placids and um, you've got uh, giant snake films. You've got everything. Uh, Hitchcock. My wife's a big fan of Hitchcock, so they're all down there. This is the sci fi and. Uh, I'd loosely call it the Asian section. It's basically uh, the uh, martial arts and Asian horror sort of mixed together. But we've got, um, well, still books actually, first up, still books of all genres. And science fiction. And then down here we've got uh, Eastern Eye, local. Um, Asian cinema release company. They do Japanese, Chinese, Taiwanese, Korean, um, which merges onto A to Z of uh, Asian horror and then martial arts and kung fu films. Over here, I quite like how this worked out because this, these four, are backed onto each other just like a video store. This is action A to Z box sets, collections. Then I pick uh, the stars, starting with the largest. So obviously we start with, say, Schwarzenegger, and Stallone's, Dolph Lundgren's, and Chuck Norris. And then it sort of moves on to smaller, smaller stars. So we get our, uh, get our Gary Daniels and our Michael Dudikoffs, Lorenzo Lamas, on the Dragon Wilson, and then it starts down to A to Z of action. This little middle shelf here, this is a Retro Gamer. I'm a big fan, fan of this magazine series. That's a complete run of them. British magazine about retro gaming, uh, video games, and uh, computer games. Here is my modern VHS, and uh, non-Australian, non-Japanese VHS. I've just got a few Greek and that kind of thing. Just piled them on top. This is all modern tapes. Action continued. A to Z. Blu-rays. Down to there. Up here we start with, I loosely refer to it as drama, but it's basically crime, thriller. It's the overflow. Uh, your, your normal films go in here. You know, where else do I put things like Gladiator? Some people might say The Bin. But anywho. Gummo. Where else would you put Gummo? I don't know where to put Gummo. It's not a horror film. It's not an action film. I don't know what the hell it is. Gummo. Kids. Same that. That kind of thing. So that's, this is the overflow. Mainly drama and thriller. And then comedy. DVDs. From here, we've got uh, anime and cartoon, British comedies, TV series, and a complete series of Monkey Magic. Gotta love Monkey. The other rotor poster, got the vertical Ranger the Ninja poster. My uh, incredibly cool, I love this, signed lithographic print of the loved ones. Ex excellent Australian horror film. Awesome artwork. Awesome stuff. 
uh, over here. Get rid of the glare. Signed and framed prize I won of the action film In the Blood, uh, starring Gina Carino. It's also got Danny Torrio on it. Really cool. Nice to have a framed picture up here. This ladder, if you want, it goes to the attic, and there's nothing much up there because it's too damn hot. Computer desk where I do all my work. A few figurines. A stack of tapes for trade. And that's pretty much it. So quick run over again. Obviously the throne. The throne is the most important thing. My awesome, awesome recliner. In fact, I just might sit down now. Ugh. The best thing. Oh yeah. 